Sometimes in some parts of the earth where climate changes happen, they say it is under the head of El Niño. Now what is El Niño? El Niño is a Spanish word meaning boy. Besides El Niño, you may have also heard La Niña, which means girl in Spanish. This name for boys and girls is involved in weather-related issues and shows two weather changes. When the ocean waters cool down in the tropics, it is called El Niña, but when the ocean waters warm up, it is called El Niño. The phenomenon of this boy and girl happens in all tropical waters, but the most intense occurs in the waters of the Pacific Ocean. If you look at the Pacific Ocean on Earth, you will see that it covers half of the Earth. The most effect of this kind of phenomenon happens in North America. Even the storms of the Atlantic Ocean have the greatest effect on the Caribbean Sea and South America. The El Niño phenomenon is the same in the Pacific Ocean. For about 50 years, climate experts have been accurately recording and examining the Earth's climate, something that did not exist before. This 50-year archive has made scientists better understand the phenomenon of El Niño. For example, now that experts are examining the tropical waters of the Pacific Ocean, its temperature has risen, which indicates that El Niño is going to happen. Statistics show that when the tropical waters of the Pacific Ocean warm up like this, this warming usually continues and reaches its peak by early spring. That is, until March 2024, the tropical waters of the Pacific Ocean will become warmer and warmer. This warming of the ocean will affect North America a lot and cause the climate of North America to change a bit. For example, the north will become colder and colder to the east, and the northwest and the center are getting hotter and hotter. In the southwest, it will be rainy and cloudy all the way to Mexico. In this position, South America, which usually has warm weather, becomes colder. You might say that El Niño only affects North America. No, this is a phenomenon that affects the climate of the whole world. When the Pacific Ocean undergoes a temperature change, it certainly affects the whole world. The difference between North America and other places is that it has a direct effect there, but the rest of the world receives the effects of this phenomenon indirectly. Now we want to know these climate changes better. In the Pacific Ocean, there is usually a breeze. Its direction is from east to west. The blowing of these winds causes the warm ocean water to move to the west. When we look at the temperature of the waters of the Pacific Ocean, we see that most of the warm water is gathered in the western part of the ocean. So, when the warm water goes to the west by the wind, another water must replace it. The cold waters that are in the depths come to the surface of the water, that is, cold water replaces hot water. This wind and the movement of warm waters to the west and being replaced by the cold waters of the deep ocean changes the weather around this ocean. For example, in the west of the ocean, when the water becomes warmer, the weather becomes cloudy and rainy. However, in the east of the ocean, it means the coasts of South America, despite the equator and warm weather, the waters are cold. This is the normal state of the Pacific Ocean, but sometimes this order is disturbed. Every few years, the wind that goes from east to west changes and becomes calmer. Wind was the driving engine of this system. When it gets quieter, the whole system slows down. Therefore, instead of the warm water being only in the west of the ocean, we see that the waters have warmed from the coast to the coast of South America. The most important effect it leaves is that the rainfall situation changes in all these regions. For example, Eastern Australia is a very rainy region. But in this case, the clouds gather in the middle of the ocean and it starts raining in the middle of the ocean. This phenomenon is called El Niño. Of course, the biggest effect of the El Niño phenomenon happens on North America, as we said why. For example, when the El Niño phenomenon occurs, a region like Peru receives torrential rains so that the whole country is covered by water. But for example, in areas like eastern Brazil to India, they suffer from drought and there is no or very little rain. 
So El Nino affects the whole world, some places much more and some places less. When El Nino occurs, the temperature of the entire globe rises several degrees Celsius. When looking at El Nino years, they have been warmer than other years, and in this 50-year record, every year that the world has been much warmer has been an El Nino year. In any case, the El Nino phenomenon ends after a few months, and most of the time, the weather returns to normal. That is, as mentioned, warm water goes to the west of the Pacific Ocean and cold water from the deep ocean replaces it. But sometimes, another thing happens. Once El Nino is over, it will never go back to normal and becomes El Nino. As you said, Louisiana Nina, or the girl, is the opposite of El Nino. That is, the winds of the Pacific Ocean, which blow from east to west, become stronger and do not allow warm water to stay around Australia. It takes them forward and replaces them as cold water moves from behind, as the tropical waters of the Pacific Ocean cool. This phenomenon causes Southeast Asia and Northern Australia, India, Brazil and South America to experience heavy rainfall. So we understood how these two phenomena affect the Earth's climate. When we look at the map of the Earth, we see that there is less population around the Pacific Ocean. However, this ocean has the greatest influence on the Earth's climate. Please share your comments. Thank you for watching the video. Best wishes until next time. Till next.